If you were to choose the best city in the world, which city would it be? In the past 20 years, many internationally renowned institutions have released city rankings, evaluations of the best cities in the world, etc. Among them, the city that is often mentioned and defended is London. London is the capital and largest city of the United Kingdom. It has influenced the whole world for over 300 years and today, as one of the world's three major financial centers alongside New York and Tokyo, it is home to more than 3 million people. This can be said to be the best in the world. What is so good about this city? Why so many people flocking to it? What are the sights worth seeing? Today, let's explore this important city that represents not only the UK, but all of Europe in terms of every quality. This is the Thames River, the mother river of the whole of the UK, with a total length of 346 kilometers, spanning more than 10 cities including London and Windsor. The location is superior and the environment is beautiful. On both sides of the Thames, you can see many high-end residential buildings, as well as many world-famous landmarks. Among them, the most essential section is less than 8 kilometers. Whether walking or cruising, it is worth experiencing. First, there is a tower bridge built in 1886. This is a suspension bridge that spans the Thames. It quietly stretches four tower buildings and is connected in the middle. The two high square ones have five floors and are topped with symmetrical marble roofs and five small spires. In fact, it is a masterpiece of Victorian architecture. This tower bridge has now become a symbol of London. The London Tower Bridge was originally built to control the flow of ships under the London Tower. The London Tower is a landmark fortress castle in London and a world cultural heritage site. This castle has a history of nearly a thousand years. At that time, it was a magnificent palace and a royal heritage. The address later became used as a prison. The White Tower in the center of the London Tower is a typical example of 11th century British Royal Castle Gatehouse architecture, and it has had a huge impact on British architectural styles. The London Bridge is located 800 meters away from the Tower Bridge, and many people confuse the two bridges. Although the Tower Bridge is not as grand as the Golden Gate Bridge, it has an extremely rich history. A bridge was built at this location 2,000 years ago, which was a wooden bridge. Over the past 2,000 years, the bridge has undergone seven reconstructions due to various problems. People even created a world-famous nursery rhyme, London Bridge is falling down. From a wooden bridge to a stone bridge to a concrete bridge, the Thames River water flowing underneath the bridge remains unchanged, and its name has witnessed not only the history of human civilization but also its own history. The famous London Eye was built in 1999 to commemorate the arrival of the new millennium, and it was the world's first observation wheel used for sightseeing. The London Eye is 135 meters high and has 32 official cabins, each of which can accommodate 25 passengers. It is a great choice to overlook the city of London and the Thames River from here. Across the river from the London Eye is the core area of London, Westminster. This is a district under the jurisdiction of London and also the administrative center of the United Kingdom. The most well-known building here is the Palace of Westminster, also known as the Houses of Parliament because it is the material source of the UK Parliament. Every tourist who comes to the UK will take a photo here for a souvenir. In 1859, the clock tower was the largest and most accurate in the world. In 2012, the tower was officially renamed Elizabeth Tower to commemorate the 60th anniversary of the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II. Westminster Abbey is located on the west side of Westminster Palace. It is said that this abbey is the highest-ranking church in England and also the place where the royal family members have been crowned and held weddings for generations. The century wedding of Prince William and Kate Middleton in 2011 was also held here. Of course, this abbey is also a destination for more than 3,300 people, including many celebrities, who consider it the highest honor. Among them are Newton, Darwin, and Churchill. Leaving Westminster Palace and continuing west for about 700 meters is Buckingham Palace. In fact, Buckingham Palace is the main center of national activities and royal hospitality, as well as the main office of the British King. 
The famous changing of the guard ceremony is held here every morning and has become a major spectacle of British royal culture. Of course, London is not just about these heavy histories and historic buildings. The integration of diverse cultures, arts, and technologies in the city also makes life in London wonderful. This is a district in central London, the West End, which is the main commercial and entertainment centre and also synonymous with the British theatre industry. Within a range of less than 1.6 square kilometres, there are more than 40 theatres showing two plays every night, comparable to Broadway in New York. There is also a famous Piccadilly Circus in the West End, surrounded by restaurants and shopping malls to make up for the crowds that surge here all day. The five streets that connect here are also the busiest and most prosperous in London. London's West End has created a global cultural label for London. Next to the West End is the City of London, where numerous financial institutions, such as banks, stock exchanges, and the gold market, are concentrated. Therefore, the City of London is the financial centre of the whole of the UK and even Europe. The many skyscrapers here have also formed the world's largest foreign exchange market, with the forex trading volume from the City of London accounting for over 40% of the global market. In terms of culture, London is also the city with the most museums, libraries, and art galleries in the world. The British Museum is one of the world's foremost famous museums, with a collection of over 8 million items. However, due to space constraints, only 90% of the collections can be displayed publicly. From the 18th to 19th centuries, during the expansion of the British Empire, a large number of valuable cultural relics were brought to London. Even if only 1% of the exhibits are on display, you can still see the brilliant civilizations from all over the world. In London, there are also two inventions that are worth seeing. One is the London Underground, which was the world's first subway and opened in 1863. After 160 years of operation, its maintenance is still commendable. The success of the subway has also led to many large cities around the world following suit. One of the most effective modes of transportation within the city is walking. Additionally, the Greenwich Observatory in the outskirts of London has played an important role in the history of astronomy and navigation. It is here that people defined the prime meridian, which became the location of Earth's zero-degree longitude, leading to the formation of different time zones. Therefore, Greenwich Mean Time, which is the precursor to coordinated universal time, was named after this location. Apart from being a renowned financial and technological hub, London is also known as one of the most walkable cities in the world. Londoners place great value on parks and open green spaces, and the city boasts over 3,000 parks of varying sizes, making it a truly global park city. The combination of natural scenery and modern city life in London has made it the world's first national park city in 2019. Once known as a city with dense fog due to industrial production, London was often referred to as the Big Smoke. However, with the improvement of the environment, the amount of sunshine in London has increased significantly, and the city has shed its former reputation. This is Hyde Park, one of London's most well-known parks. Its vast size and overall appearance can be compared to New York's Central Park. Not only is it beautiful, but it is also teeming with life. Let's end today's video in this sea of greenery. Of course, as a city as vast and renowned as London, there are many other positive aspects to it. Do you know any other good things about London? Feel free to share in the comments section. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next episode. Subscribe.